Hey, good morning. This is Nurse Jones calling from the school. How are you? I'm doing well. I just wanted to follow up with you. Yesterday, your daughter came in the office um, and I noticed she, she had been vomiting after she ate. She does that all the time. Yes, ma'am. So we were talking about it. Um, and I just want, I had a couple concerns. Um, so of course I can't diagnose her. She would have to be medically diagnosed by a, um, a physician, but I am concerned because she said that she self induces her vomit. You told her to, okay. Well, yeah, she told me that as well. She told me that, um, what led up to it and, she said that there were some words exchanged between the two of you one day, um, and it kind of made her feel uncomfortable. Um, so I was wondering if you would be able to maybe come up to the school and maybe we can just talk face to face. Um, no. Okay. May I ask why? Because she's fat. Okay. So mom, listen, I, I, I disagree respectfully. I do not believe that your daughter's fat. I mean, I'm not saying that that is a bad word, but I don't believe that she's fat. And I don't feel like those words were maybe appropriate to use for her. Um, of course they make her feel uncomfortable. They make her feel bad about herself. Well, mom, I understand that you were trying to get your point across, but I, like I said, I don't feel like that was the appropriate route to take. And I'm not scolding you or saying that you're a bad parent or anything like that. I'm not telling you how to parent your child, but I do feel like there are different ways to approach situations. Um, maybe her eating habits aren't the best, but I don't feel that talking down to her will help the situation. Um, she's now developed a eating disorder that it's harmful. So I, I don't feel that, um, I don't know. I just would like to talk in person. Maybe we can come up with some different alternatives to help, help your daughter, um, navigate through this, this, this next journey. Yes, ma'am. I would greatly appreciate if you came up here. Yes, ma'am. I, I mean, I know I just said everything kind of in a nutshell on the phone, but if we could sit down and maybe come up with a plan, especially while she's here at school, maybe she can come to me um, during lunch and we could just kind of develop like a nutritional plan for her. And then when she's at home, you guys can come up with something. But if we come together collectively, of course, I can come to your house. So if you can come to the school, then we could just kind of have a sit down and talk about the different things that she's going through and include the counselor in it so she can express her emotions as well. No, I, I disagree with that as well, Mom. Um, she's not too young to feel depressed. She's not too depression doesn't have an age limit. Um, can you come today? Okay, that would be fantastic. And no, I I do I do appreciate your um your willingness to come and we discuss this situation because I feel like it is very important and her health is important, of course and. Like I said, if she's not having healthy eating habits and then she's being talked to about how she's eating and being scolded, not saying that you're doing the scolding, but we have to come up with a some kind of regimen for her. And I would love to help with a meal plan. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I'll see you at 12 o'clock. Thank you, mom. Bye bye.